If you like to do the MP for Rochdale, what will you do for Rochdale? What I will be doing for Rochdale is, number one thing is to revitalise the town centre. And we need to bring people back into the, uh, people shopping in the town centre. Uh, and it's not about building uh, buildings and uh, units, uh, it's having the right package uh, in there. Uh, we need a thriving market, where it used to be a thriving market, now we need to bring that back, put everything together, uh, lowering the business rates, uh, and which I've been part of the system where, I, when I was finance portfolio, to make a package for small businesses to make affordable business rates for them to manage their business. So the, the, the town centre is the key thing that I will be concentrating on and you know, I'm making sure that whatever we put in there, uh, it's not just buildings, it's about buildings, uh, facilities, uh, leisure area uh, to go with it and it's a complete package that we need to be working on. The other area that I'll be uh, concentrating on is on our hospital. We've lost lo lots of vital services, uh, for example, like the A&E maternity ward and the heart um, department as well. So I want to concern, we want to see children in Rochdale being born in Rochdale, not in Oldham, not in Manchester, not in Bury, born in Rochdale. And this is where I'm going to be fighting for. Let's have the maternity ward back. Uh, and the other side uh, I'll be focusing on is on the education side. At the moment we've got a brilliant education system in Rochdale with the state of the art and top in the country, the, the Sixth Form College and also the Hopwood College which has come outstanding in, in North West. So let's enhance that and let's probably look for, forward in having a university uh, in Rochdale. Why not? Rochdale is a university so we'll be fighting for that as well. And Rochdale's got a lot of other goodness, um, you know, we've got the facilities from, on the leisure side, uh, which other borough, uh, you would say, uh, in Greater Manchester have three of the state-of-the-art leisure facilities, Milton Arena, Hayward Sports Village and Rochdale Central Leisure, um, with full, you know, with gym equipment, with gym uh, facilities, sauna, uh, sw swimming and other health uh, training co um, co courses that they do in there. So we, we've got these facilities there. So we need to enhance that and make sure that people are using these facilities as well. And overall, I think the important thing that Rochdale uh, is very lucky and you know it's a gem is we, we're in this wonderful town hall uh, and you can see the heritage that we have. We've got rich in heritage, we're the birthplace of cooperative movement. Yeah, let's bring that back again. Yeah, you know we need to be known for the good reasons. You know. When you, you walk around the streets, the amount of greenery, we've got fantastic parks. Uh, we, I've concentrated on uh, bringing the uh, trust, uh, Arts and Heritage Trust, called the uh, Borough Wide Trust, which I formulated uh, going back a couple of years ago, and I want to see that continue and become for, for it. Let's have the town hall to be our heritage hall of, of, of the borough. So why should people vote for you? That's a good question. Why should people vote for me? Politician will tell you all sorts of things or, or, or what you want to hear. Um, I could go rely on my track record on what I have done uh, in the past. I have been working, uh, I am local, I was born and bred uh, Rochdaleian, I love this town to bits, whatever the situation, the issues and matters. And, and I've seen this town from being a thriving uh, small mill town uh, to be uh, this de deprived air, uh, town in the, no in the north or in the country. And I, 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 don't want to be, I don't want to see this town to be labelled uh, deprived. I want people to remember Rochdale to be this fantastic town with lots of heritage uh, there and there's a place to be, you know, a place where people want to live, the place where people want to work and, 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 and I want to see this more of. I've got a passion, right, and I'm not the only person with the passion that want to see this happening. I think many people, other people are. Our party is very personalised. You know? It is personal because it's about this town and if you love this town we need people to back us right? because the mainstream parties and you, you see the manifestos uh, they say a lot of things there uh, I don't see half the things flourishing through uh, where we've got some key points that we're going to be concentrating on. Let's concentrate on our doorstep yeah? let's get this town back on track and I want people you know like our party says you know, Rochester first. We're putting the people of Rochester first, you know, and we want people to vote Rochester.